The new Super Evac Plus 2 features a soft start BLDC motor designed to preserve bearing and coupling life. This gentle start differs substantially from a conventional AC motor and may seem like a broken AC motor. The soft start is a design feature to gently start the pump to extend overall pump life. Today, we're going to go over some best practices when using your Super Evac Plus 2 and some common mistakes and what they look like. To begin with, the proper way to start the Subrivac Plus 2 is with one or more intake caps open, the ball valve open to atmosphere, and the power set to the proper voltage. When you first flip the switch, the motor will take 1-3 to three seconds to start turning as the motor powers up and the soft start feature brings the motor gently up to speed. Once the motor is up to speed, simply hook up your hoses and start your evacuation. Now let's review some common mistakes. The first mistake you may find is if the voltage switch is set to the wrong setting. The Super Evac Plus 2 features a universal motor designed to work with both 115 and 230 volts AC at either 50 or 60 Hz. If the motor is set to the wrong setting, it may not start properly. Here we have a pump with the voltage set to 230 volts AC but on a 115 input. When the switch is flipped, it may start under ideal conditions but will quickly stall out since it doesn't have the power for the loads of pumping down the system. When the voltage is set higher than the actual input voltage, the motor isn't getting enough power. It will run slow with a different tone from the exhaust, and when a load is applied, such as hooking up a hose or pumping down a system, it will stall out and reset, trying to start again. Never run the Super Evac Plus 2 on a voltage source higher than the voltage input setting. If the voltage selector switch is set at 115, but a 230 input is supplied, it could damage the control electronics and void the manufacturer's warranty. Another common mistake you may run into with startup is a flooded cartridge. A flooded cartridge occurs when there is oil in the cartridge, either from the cartridge sitting in oil while in storage, or when shutting off the pump while it is still under vacuum. This normally isn't a problem when the pump is started with the intake open, as the oil can be expelled from the cartridge easily. But, if the cartridge is flooded and the intake is closed off, the pump can have difficulty starting. Normally what this looks like is the pump will shake as the motor tries to use nudges to get the cartridge running, or it may sit still and emit a quiet electrical whine. When the pump is started with a flooded cartridge and the intake is under vacuum, such as at power loss mid-evacuation, it will eventually be able to start. The motor will go through multiple start cycles and may take up to 5 minutes to expel all the oil so the motor can start without damaging the coupling. Here is an example of what the pump would look like as it goes through a couple of cycles of trying to start the motor. If you let the pump continue to cycle, it will start in less than 5 minutes. If you want to speed up the start, simply open the intake fitting and vent it to atmosphere. The last of the common issues that may arise at startup is if the caps are closed and the cartridge is not flooded. This is close to the flooded cartridge behavior, but to a less extreme degree. Typically, the pump will shake as the motor tries to nudge the cartridge over. The shaking is caused by rapid changes in load during startup as the intake quickly goes from atmosphere to vacuum. After a couple seconds, the intake will be nearly at full vacuum and the load will be consistent enough the motor can start without issue. It may take two cycles to get the intake into a deep enough vacuum for the motor to start. The new Super Evac Plus 2 soft start feature is there to help with the longevity of your pump and consumable parts. Here are the results of some life testing conducted in-house to verify the soft start's effectiveness. Both pumps were run through the same startup and pump down cycles, totaling over a thousand hours of testing. Here we have an example of what the AC coupling looked like after only 300 hours of running. The coupling spider has completely shredded and the coupling is running metal on metal. The pump runs loud and rattles since the coupling no longer has its damper and the bearing and pump life is negatively impacted. Here we have the Super Evac Plus 2 pump, which was run through the same test. This coupling has had over a thousand hours of testing and is still intact, and not showing any signs of wear. The new soft start of the Super Evac Plus 2 results in decreased wear and prolonged pump life, making it an improvement over the conventional AC motor.
For more videos and product information for the SuperEvac Plus 2 vacuum pump, visit yellowjacket.com.